the greatness of Joe Polisi. Now, I'm deeply honored, one of the greatest honors in my life of rewards is to be asked by him to speak at his last commencement. Nothing means more to me than people. He sent me a letter, which he's never done, and he called me twice to say, don't talk about me. <laughs> and that's why I have to do it. I did promise him that it would not be long, but we didn't define what long was. And I really can't help it because it feels so good to be able to say things about someone exceptional in public and with the same unreserved passion that one normally reserves for negative comments. <laughs> I remember thinking when Joe was first appointed, man, he's kind of young for that job. <laughs> I've watched with such deep, deep respect and admiration at his nimble and skillful guidance of our institution through these years. He's followed, as Harriet Tubman did, the North Star. And it leads us towards a larger world, a more expansive experience, and towards a freedom we will experience when everyone is free to be. Joe means so much in the history and life of this institution. Damien and I have talked. We've been friends for many years. And we say we're going to do everything we can do to burnish his legacy and to show him the respect that his achievement deserves as we pass into time. We are filled with love and respect for this man, and rightly so. He's a man of integrity, depth, wisdom, judgment. I don't know about bassoon. <laughs> Trumpet players, bassoons. <laughs> but he will not be gone. When you see him, hug him. You are a student as you are a daughter and a son. And you will have the opportunity to teach students as you will be a father and a mother. Certainly, you sit here today seeing things you would like to improve and changes you would like to enact. I hope you take the example of Joe Polisi to heart when the challenges of creating change against the pressures of time overwhelm you. He was up for the fight. And he left us much, much better than he found us. And that is the definition of soul. When you walk out of a room and it feels better than when you walked in, you're soulful. He's encouraged us to make the world a smaller place with our participation as artists, citizens. Let's honor his work by doing just that. 